freaking Christmas, boys, here during the team of the season. I'm Slater. Welcome back to another FIFA 23 content review on the channel. I'm so excited. Uh, we're going to open this 75 by 11 upgrade. We're going to start with that. We have two showdown SBCs, but more importantly, we finally have player picks. Player picks are back. You can't even see 80 plus player picks are back. Man, we finally have something to grind and put commons into. There's just so much content today. It's really a great day with Legion upgrades, and there's so much stuff. And for some reason, EA waited all the way till League and Tots to make the upgrade menu as good as it should be um, and should have been the entire time. With that being said, let's go through other content. Is Montiel or Vinaldum worth completing? Should you do the 75 of 11? Let's answer all those questions on today's video right here and right now. So first and foremost, I'm going to start with the 75 plus uh, by 11 League Un upgrade. That is historically what we've had previously. I think it was 75 by 10. So I think they might even added a, a player there. Um, earn a pack attaining 11 uh, League Un rare gold players uh, rated 75 overall or higher. It says rare gold players. I don't know if that's actually going to be the case because there are very few rares. There's actually a really good tweet I wanted to show you from Viva23 News. They put out a lot of really good info. And assuming this is accurate, it says League Un premium upgrades will be absolutely broken today. 15 tots. Three moments, one 86 plus, which I believe is Donnarumma, three or six 83 to 85 cards, and then total gold rares is 36. So it's really not that there's like an exact ratio. It's not like, oh, there's 36 gold rares, there's 15 team of the season, so I have this good of a chance. It's obviously the weight on the gold rares is way more influence, but nonetheless, I think this is definitely worth the crack. It's an 84 and an 81 overall team. The packs back are irrelevant, but that's not really what you're doing it for. Ideally, you get a team of the season. You can do this every single day throughout the rest of the League and Tots. I've already crafted the 84 squad. I've already pre-made the 81 squad to make this video a little quicker, more enjoyable for you guys. And for me, opening this bad boy on this video, maybe being your guinea pig, hit that like button, sub if you're new. Let's get into this uh, pack, and then we'll go through the rest of the content today. So I'm on my second account. This account has been very blessed lately. We With these type of packs, last week we got <clears throat> Modric, and, um, Modric and Lewandowski. So we had a really good run in the second account. I don't use my second account for anything besides just opening packs for content reviews. So I'm hoping that kind of, you know, the theory of, oh, you don't use this account, we'll juice it up for you from EA still resides today. Here is my 75 by 11. It says rare gold player. So there, there's got to be an okay chance. And for me... It's not the day. I'm going to assume Fabian or Schmeichel. There you go. <laughs> All right. It's going to be Fabian, Solaire, Schmeichel. You're either probably going to get a Tots or Fabian, Solaire, Schmeichel. That's probably going to be what you're going to see in front of your screen. So let me know in the comments below if you open this today what you got back in this pack. Is it all rare golds? Oh, it is. I actually got... Uh, look at that. <laughs> what I... Schmeichel, Fabian, Solaire, Schmeichel, Fabian, Solaire. This is going to be your pack too, most likely, but there is a chance to get an actual blue. And the nice thing about this is like these 83s and 82s and 81s, like that'll definitely help me get at least one of the segments done. That's like a, the, this, this 75 by 11 is way more rinsable than some of the previous iterations of the upgrades that we've had. So I'm a big fan. I think that's awesome content from EA. I'm loving it right now. Um, hopefully this is, you know, this is just a sign of even more things to come throughout the week. Then we have, obviously, Vinaldum and Montiel. Before I dive into the showdown SPCs, I think that, that will take like the, a full chunk of the video on that. And this will all be chaptered out, so you can go like fast forward to showdowns if you want to. Let's go to the daily content. So, of course, we have, which I guess I didn't favorite, was the original Premium League upgrade. Here you go. So, we have the Premium League upgrade, which we all know. We've done this pack. You've already had these packs probably through either objectives or um, through that Todd 7 challenge that came out earlier in the week. But 11 rare gold players to get a League Un Premium upgrade. As we all know with these nowadays, it is 8 players, 3 rares, repeatable the entirety of the promo. The really great thing is, the greatest thing is that we have player picks. And um, I actually opened a couple of these before this video to get fodder to do the League Un upgrade um, really quickly. I opened 5. And I got an 86, 383s, and an 84, and like an 81. So I thought they were pretty good already for me. And it's just commons. There is no rare. So literally what we've been waiting for, where do we put our comments? Where do we put our comments? The whole week, right? Boom. Beautiful, beautiful option to help give you the fodder, to do the 71 by 11, 75 by 11 the next day, to help you do the SBC. It's what we've been waiting for. Finally, EA woke up, man. Finally, they woke up and said, hey, look, we want you to be on our game and have a good time. And I want to be on the game and have a good time too. Day login upgrade, make sure you do that as well. And now let's dive into Genie Wijnaldum versus Gonzalo Montiel, who have a Stone SBC. 
tragically for me as a Juve fan, this could have been a Juve player, but we've been frauding in world football for so long now. We're playing awful, man. Oh my God, we're so bad right now. Uh, but Gonzalo Montiel versus Gini Van Aldum. This is an interesting one because we already had a showdown um, right back Argentinian from La Liga within the last couple months. If you remember Molina, who now just got also a team of the season, it's kind of a weird position to give because we kind of already have an option of that exact caliber in the game. The nice thing is, I guess, that he has like a hyperlink to Acuna, but Acuna's cards are a little bit out of the pace of the game too. So well, first we'll, start, we'll dive into Genie because he actually have, is like a new need in the game. Four star, five star, high, high work rates, center mid, CDM, right mid, cam. So brilliant versatility, Dutch links, four star, five star, right? There's a lot to like about this card. He has pretty good shooting stats considering that he really is expected to score a lot, but if he gets in front of that, he can help you finish. Pace wits are fine. Dribbling's really well balanced. 98 balance too is very lovely on the card. 91 vision, 92 short pass, 91 long pass, right? He has the ability to get a plus two. If this card got a plus two, my word, what a great card. It would almost be a club 90 card in FIFA right now. Defending physical stats are fantastic. 99 stamina, 87 aggression, 84 strength. Right, there's just a, I mean, what is there not to like about this Genie Vine Aldum card? He is three segments. He's an 84 with a small prime mixie, an 85 with a premium electrum pack, and an 87. And to me, not only is that, I think that's really good value. I really do. I don't know the exact price. We'll jump on footpin here in a second. Um, but now that you have player picks, it totally changes my perception of how to get SBCs done because you actually can help get yourself the fodder necessary for like, especially the 85s, 84 squads throughout the course of the week. So to me, this is really great value. The packs pack aren't horrible. I mean, they're not crazy. You could hit something in a prime mixie. Um, you know, you could hit something in anything, but they're not horrible. But realistically, I think like he looks really good. I, and you know, if you think that Roma are going to win that game, I mean, look at this with that card with a plus two in every stat, 89 face pace, 90 shooting, 92 passing, 93 dribbling, 89 defending and 91 physical. That is like on par with the team of the season cards we've seen some from like Goretzka and you know Renato Sanchez. And I'm not saying he'll be as good as like Renato Sanchez, but I'm just saying like the what this card could be at the price that he is with four star, five star, you know, we're not complaining, man. This could be a really brilliant SBC, especially if he hits one of those ones that you would look back and go, man, I can't believe I missed out on the Genie Vine Aldum SBC, right? So I really like that one. Now, Montiel, I'm much less excited about. He has three star, five star, high, high. Um, he can play center back, left back, right back, and right wing back. So I guess maybe the versatility that he does fill is that if you need a left back, uh, but there were so many left backs. There was that Javi Gaetan, there was Jose Gaia, Balde, right? And then on the right side, there's Molina. So he does have five-star weak foot. You know, he's got decent pace splits, okay passing, decent dribbling. decent. He's just really, to me, I don't see this card having the same value. You know, if they win, right, he would be just a better version of Molina because Molina doesn't have five-star skills and he would get the boost, right? So he should be really cheap. He's an 82 with a small Electrum and an 85 overall team. You know, it's, it's not like it's horribly priced because I'm guessing that's like, you know, 60-something K, but... I would guess if I were you, let's go on flipping really quick. I, I would guess if I were you, I would just get Molina. Like he's already a made card, right? Like you're not waiting for the upgrade. They are literally both Argentinian right backs. Um, it, once again, he, you know, this card can play left back, Monty, also like that. But I mean, this card's 35,000 coins. I mean, and he's live on the market. You're really not going to lose anything with a card like that, right? And then you look at this card's probably 70, 63K. You know, he has four less pace, five less dribbling, two less defending, one less physical, three less. I mean, he's just a way worse. He actually needs a plus two to almost like get on par with this card. Then he has the five star weak foot, which is a big bonus. But like, nah, man, you're you're running you're running Molina. Molina is but way better value. So this Montiel, whore, I don't get this SBC at all because they could have chosen any other Sevilla player. Like a really boosted like Rakitic would have been kind of cool, right? Or um, something like that would have been sweet. Um, but no, this is a horrible SBC. This though, I love this Genie Vine Aldum card. Let's go over on Footbin. I'm gonna assume he's very high upvoted. Um, Genie Vine Aldum is my guess. He is 84% upvote, 26, 16% downvote. Now Montel has 74 up and 26 down because he's cheap, but he's actually horrible value. I like, I would just not do that. You know, the only, I, I just wouldn't do that. I would focus vehemently on this Genie Vine Aldum. It's weird they gave a card that's literally 3x the price of the other one for the same game. Like, why wouldn't they make the cards the same caliber type? But, 
It is what it is. If we're getting one good card, I'm not going to complain. So Genie looks awesome, dude. Four star, five star. You put a shadow on him, wherever the heck that is. Look at that card, dude. Brilliant defending, brilliant dribbling, brilliant pass, a pace, great pay, uh, passing stats, crazy good physicality. I And then if he gets a plus two, I mean, my word, what an absolutely wonderful, wonderful card. He has a unique body type in game. I'm pretty, I'm very team Genie. Um, just in general as an SBC. It's not even like comparatively to Montiel because they are not anywhere near the same type of card. Genie's just a great value SBC. Like I would leap um, towards completing that if you could fit him into your team and need a card like that for your squad. Let me go check out. It is a um, Monday, so I'm not expecting any new objective content in the game, but we have to look. Nothing here. League and Cup, all that stuff we've already had. And then the milestone category. No, nothing new. So there you go, man. Player picks are back. 75 by 11s. If you watch this long, let me know what you get in those 75 by 11s. I really would love to see. Um, and then, yeah, I hope you guys are happy. Player picks, man. Uh, that's all that matters today. Honestly, if everything today, Genie Vine Alderman and Player Picks is the dream. Have a great rest of your day. I'm live early today. Uh, we got to finish building our Lagoon team and take a full Lagoon team into the weekend league. I've got packs. We've got a lot of stuff going on. If you haven't checked it out, Slater AC on Twitch. We'd love to see you over there. Uh, we have a really cool community. I'm sure they'd love to have you and join. Have a great one, guys. Peace.